You know, 20 years later, we are all remembering. We're seeing the video and the pictures of 9-11. But what's really interesting to me, even when you think you've heard every story that's out there, there's always at least one more. Case in point, News 2 has talked to D.H. Griffin many times over the years. He was the point person on the ground zero cleanup. Many times he's told us how he started as a volunteer, how he devised a plan to take down a 27 story part of Tower 2. But this week I talked with him about details of the cleanup and things that most of us never even thought of when it came to what was in the rubble. But it was over 30 federal agencies that we had to deal with on a daily basis. It was $500 million worth of gold and silver and uh, some of the bank vaults underneath the, the World Trade Center. Having to work with the DEA, it was uh, several hundred million dollars worth of drugs that was uh, on site in a U.S. Customs house. Uh, that was evidence rooms. Working through the red tape of 30 agencies a day uh, was challenging a, a, a lot, but there again, we had a great team and uh, everybody had their heart in the right place wanting to do the right thing. That's the thing that we kind of ended up with. You might think it would have been desensitizing day in and day out looking through that rubble, but he says he didn't forget who he was serving. 